Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today we have the CRKT Buku. Now this was sent in by a supporter of the channel, so I just wanted to give a shout out to Stella. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to customize one of your knives. Now, really quick, we'll put the uh, specs up on screen. And let's just get right into it. So this blade has a drop point style blade made of 8CR 13MOV. It's got a finger hole for deployment and just a little bit of jimping here at the top. It's only two little slots, but it does it does do its thing, surprisingly. And you also have a little thumb ramp up here where your thumb can rest in when you are uh, grabbing the knife, basically. This blade is also riding on bearings, so it is it does have a smooth action. The drop shed is really good, and you can a spidey flick it. And then the thumb flick works just as good. So really, really smooth action, thanks to those bearings. This blade is a frame lock style knife made of a stainless steel scales on both sides. Now there is a little bit of milling on the inside. It's not a lot, but it does help with the weight reduction a little bit. It's got a non-reversible deep carry pocket clip with uh, recessed screws. And the pocket clip is recessed as well, so that's nice. It does have a over travel stop on the lock bar and a, I believe a stainless steel backspacer. Just a little guy there. Now this is a very big knife. Uh, eight, a little, a little over eight inches altogether. But the ergos on this is really, really good. And again, ergos are great due to the fact that it's just a very simple, simple design. And yeah, your fingers rest in there nicely. So overall, ergos are really good on this blade, and yeah, just a really, really neat knife. A bit on the big side, but this would be, I think, perfect in a grab-and-go bag, since you can choke up on the back of the blade, or the scales here, and you can actually get a little bit of a, a chopping action. So due to the weight, it can do a lot of damage. So the changes I'll be doing to this blade are going to be pretty similar to the Jettison, that I did a couple months back. I'll leave a link up here in the corner somewhere. You guys can check that video out if you guys haven't. But I will be scalloping or putting the rock, rock texture on both sides of the scales. I will not be etching. It'll just be a nice shiny look to it. It's gonna look really, really good when it's done. And then I will be creating a, a bigger brass backspacer for this knife since it just has just a little guy here and then more than likely putting the rock texture on the backspacer as well. So let's take this thing apart and see what we're dealing with. All right, so here it is all taken apart, but that is what it looks like on the inside. Just a little bit of milling it's not a lot, but I'm sure it helps in the weight reduction department. A little goes a long way. Very, very basic setup, which I really like. There it is. Let's get to uh, customizing it.
All right, so here it is all customized. Now I guess we can start with the backspacer really quick. And as you guys can tell, I extended it quite a bit. And here's the original, so you guys can get an idea of how much I added onto it. So just, uh, just a tad more. But uh, I did put the rock texture or the scallop texture on the spine of the backspacer, just so it uh, goes with the theme of the scales which I'll show you guys just here in a second but I did I did make it just a little bit taller than the scales so this does pop up just a little bit and then I did add some some texturing on the inside kind of like I did on the CRKT tuna I'll leave a link up somewhere uh, here in the corner if you guys haven't seen that video you guys can check it out but I kind of did a similar kind of style texture on the inside just so when you peek in between the scales you get just a little bit of uh, a little bit of pizzazz I guess just something to uh, catch the eye but that is the backspacer there and now moving on to the scales now these whenever I do stainless steel in the uh, scalloped or rock texture it's just, it's always awesome to, to look at it because it does, well, you guys can see exactly what it's doing right now. So, again, it's just really hypnotizing. It's just, it shifts, it dances, whatever you want to call it, but it does so much. And it's just really, really neat to see it in its raw form. And again, I, I'm glad Stella went with this uh, option because uh, I could have etched it and stone washed it like I did on the Jettison. Um, but yeah, just... Just really, really cool in its raw form. Yeah, if if you're not steady when you're doing this, uh, you tend to run into some issues. Uh, the grain goes different directions, so a steady hand is required, and I'm thankful that I do have steady hands when I'm doing this, uh, especially this rock pattern. So there is the show side scale, and then I also did the other side. So as you guys saw in the video, I put a filler in between uh, just the temporary mock-up just to push the scale out. That way I have a, a matching pattern on the lock bar and then the surface of the scale. So yeah, there it is. Um, what else? What else did I do? Oh, the, the screws, since they go through the whole frame of the scales, or sorry, from one scale to the other end of the scale, you do see the butt end of the screw. And I just gave it a nice clean finish since it is going to be exposed. If I can get it on camera. But I cleaned it up really, really well. Just so it, again, goes with the flow and then that way you don't have like a dirty looking screw on the other side. But I'll show you guys once, uh, once I put it together. And then I also did the stop pin. I gave it a nice finish on there as well. Very small detail, but that's what counts. It's always the small details. So enough talking about it. Let's put this thing together and see what it looks like. Alright guys, so here it is all put together and yeah, that rock texture looks really, really good. Again, just always, always love this look and you can't really go wrong with it. There's the lock bar side. There's the backspacer. Yeah, just really, really awesome uh, angles and effect you get. Just love it. I just really, really like it. Um, now, now that I'm looking at it, honestly, the because uh, I didn't do anything to the pocket clip, so it's kind of just 
the stone washed finish. And you know what? You know, give me a second, you guys. Let me uh, let me go do something just really, really quick. All right, you guys. Sorry about that little delay, but I just had to do the pocket clip. Now I heat anodized it, so it's a little bit more golden than the actual brass on the back. But as we all know, over time. Uh, the brass will get a lot more golden and get some purple and blue hues to it so it will match the pocket clip eventually since I did heat anodize it but uh, yeah I think I think that completes it um, you know let me know down below in the comments uh, what you guys think of just the whole knife in general and then uh, if this was the right way to go I think it was but just uh, Again, let me know down below what you guys think, because I just love the way this thing is doing its thing in the light. Now, really quick, let's check the action. Very smooth. I wasn't expecting that, sorry. And it's probably because I cleaned it a little bit and I re-oiled it, but yeah, that thing is crazy smooth. The drop shut is very nice, super smooth, blade is perfectly centered very happy with that it's interesting because um, this blade wasn't centered when I started on it so uh, I, I don't think I had anything to do with it but no complaints here so happy that it is centered and again that drop shed is really nice since well this blade is chunky beefy and thick so as soon as I push that lock bar down it Gravity does its thing, and it's, yeah, I'm I'm really happy with the outcome. Um, again, I, I need to do one of my own personal knives. Maybe I'll do the, uh, maybe I'll do this guy here. What do you guys think? I think that would look good with this rock pattern texture. But let's not take focus off of the star of the show here, the Buku. I'll give you guys another quick look. There's that backspacer, the rock pattern texture. Super, super happy with the outcome. And that pocket clip will eventually match the backspacer over time. So yeah, just really, really cool. I was gonna heat anodize the hardware, but I really just wanted to keep it very clean and then just have a touch of color with uh, this pocket clip and the backspacer. So there is the CRKT Buku with the rock, sorry, with the rock textured pattern. And as always, you guys, I appreciate your support and watching. And um, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.